go back to the monitor for that one. It's low, but how about UConn fans? You're going to enjoy watching James Booknight for the next several years. Just so smooth in his game, able to get into the lane. Great finish that time using the glass. What a game for number one. The question they've had to answer the last two games and a few other times this season. Can they do it for 40 minutes? Now they better come out with high energy in the second half, just like they did the first half. How about this? A little 1 3 1 by Houston. Back door for Ron Hunt. For Ron Hunt driving on Harris. Nice fake. Davis working on Gilbert. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Wow, what a move against the shot clock horn. We'll get it back off the offensive rebound. Up top, throw it down to the open space. Hunt just going to go ahead and fire. Defender in his face doesn't matter. Shots instead of really working the ball. When they've worked the ball, they've got much better shots. And how about... And SME would love to win this one. They would gain the inside track to a top four seed in the conference tournament next week. Stevenson misses everything that he has struggled from the field the last four games. Davis kicks this one out. This is CJ White off the front of the rim. And how about the elevation? <laughs> Mismatch. Down to five. White the offensive rebound. Extra effort by C.J. White. Again, they've got the mismatch. Davis exploits it and finds Hunt. Slep. SMU's been in a malaise in this half court. How do they get out of it? Well, they're so ISO driven right now. Davis, I think, has got to be a bigger role. Coming off these screens, look to shoot. Hunt, the size advantage on Sasser. And takes advantage. Point ties a career high. And a steal. Can we get another gun? This time it's Hunt. <laughs> Final shot clock. Oh, oh my! The All year long, and with the American Conference is no different. Yeah, so many swings, night, night in, night out. You see one team win by 20, the next time out they lose by 20, and road teams getting big victories. It's, it's just been a crazy basketball season all over the country. Nice move by Hunt. Really good. Taken by Hunt. Boy, the bench for SMU has really done a nice job. Drive and kick. You got to get a foot in the lane. Beautiful move. So they did not recognize the shot clock was winding down. UConn led early by seven. SMU has led by four. See so these teams playing it very, very close to the vest. Hunt is feeling it. Good decision to kick that out. He's played almost a perfect first half. <laughs> SMU leading by 12 as we approach the 11 and a half minute mark of the contest. Halftime, SMU led it 38-32. They've gone out to a double. One year of net, right? So we can't say for sure. You know, last year, NC State was, I think, 33 and didn't get a bid because they had the last non-conference get from the country, the worst ranked non This is a quad two game for SMU, and you say, well, Temple's 500, how can it be a quad two game? Because it's away. If this game were at SMU, it would not be a quad two game. I want to ask you about injuries. In Pretty heady company he's headed into. Here's Temple, settles back into the zone. Hunt knocks it down. Smooth. And it's all streaming live on the ESPN app. Have you caught the machine that is Zion? So far, it's been amazing to watch. And finally, he's back. I mean, I mean, how, how, how long do we have to wait to finally get to see Zion Too long. play basketball? But his numbers are just staggering. But not only are his numbers good, but you never know when that play is going to come out that you're going to remember for the rest of the year or perhaps the rest of your life. I respect your honesty. That's what I like about you. White from Mandeville. And Hunt! Once again, on the baseline in the American Conference. 
Another rebound for Davis. That's his ninth. He is one rebound shy of a triple-double. Hunt. He can do that, too. Sometimes those tough two-point shots that you take don't pay off. Hunt. And it's Josh Pierre-Louis, who's had the hot hand, turns it over. Numbers for SMU. Hunt. York. He talked about the assists from Kendrick Davis and why not? SMU leads the conference in field goal efficiency. If you want to get an assist, you got to have teammates who can make shots. Nice spin down inside, lays it up and in. First had the better numbers, Grimes has the better record. Talking to Davis, this game means a lot to him. He said going up against Grimes, it always brought out the best. Lomax. <clears throat> Davis has the board. But you were standing. 32 feet from the basket and then launching threes. Nine straight for S. Baseline dropped it off late. Dandridge yeah. ripped away. And crowd, not a good decision. It was generous, but now. And the Mustangs on the run. Jolly on the drive. Hunt the spin. Decided to try to slow down Colin Smith. So UCF led by 22 points at one point. The lead was just seven, now it's nine. Davis, baseline, nicely done as Hunt stops it. One step inside the three-point line, can't put it in. That's good offense though, you just missed a wide open jumper. Again, UCF getting anything they want in half court. Shagwa again wants to feed the post. Just telegraph that pass. Here's Davis. Shaq Wall, again, playing keep away, and a reverse layup by him. Just underway from Tampa, Drew Felio, Stan Luter. Thrilled to have you with us tonight from the Yingling Center. Shaq Wall, hot offensively, here to start, feeds Hunt inside. What a hustle play by Frank Burks. My goodness. They're flying around this court right now. Here's the lob. Nice. That was pretty ball. Isaiah Mike. Not there. Contact. No call and hunt. Hey. Good job by the Pirates staying with the play in one of the few possessions where the Pirates have attacked the offensive glass and it bodes well for them with the with the bucket. Into the paint. Hunt. A little turnaround and he'll knock that one. The line of and the idea of a potential upset bid here they made a nice little run to start the half it's drifting away from them but they are winless on the road this year lob inside again Hunt. Hunt's off the mark put back gets the roll you know i've talked the entire game i've been really impressed with jake forrester here this evening forrester still leads temple in scoring 14 points in 22 minutes quentin rose just hit double figures Another SMU dunk. Inside, but he's going to get single coverage, and there's no double team. Uh, he's going to be hard to stop. So look for SMU to change up their coverage as the game moves on if he's giving them problems in the post. Mustangs play a slower style. They do have big-time scores in the starting lineup. Ferran Hunts with the answer. He's you, you can't play in this game if you're going to complain about calls because you're probably not going to get any. Three on two and back to Reed. It's the defense. Good spacing. You got Jerome, who's a really good slasher in the paint. Houston loves to switch their pick and rolls. One through five. System. It's all about defense first. And it's about defense. It's about getting loose balls. Uh, this, is not, this is not an offensive team. Playing with a consistent. Oh, I guess SMU should be down by a lot more than 11. They had their jump here to start the second half, and now it feels like they should be closer than nine, but they still are facing a nine point deficit. Ron Hunt was the offense in the. Davis DeLaw. It's high per sight. Robinson Wright letting Davis know he shouldn't gamble. Excellent job because he has a length to bother him at the three-point line, but then also when Gardner, or, yeah, when Gardner drives, he stays down and contests the shot at the rim. 
And now he finds the cutter, Hunt. And that's enough. Defense. That's not going to help. Off the hands of Suggs and Hunt. We do it together. I think Jaden understands that. Trusts his coaches and his teammates. And they're going blow to blow with a really good basketball team in SMU. Hunt powers his way in. Complain about calls because you're probably not going to get any. Three on two and back down.